Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing news to go and cover when it comes to Walmart and what they're actually trying their best to go and do to prevent scalpers and kind of how it seems like they're now individually selecting accounts and individually having a worker basically go through the entire profile of what they're going for and basically canceling out a lot of bought in and scalped orders. Now, this is very intriguing to kind of know because actually someone who actually has a partake in like this kind of scalping act actually let me know about this. So I kind of feel like if they know, because or someone who's actually been involved in like the scalping and actual act of this, that's usually a pretty good sign to go and see that other scalpers and other botters will most likely be being affected. And as well, this actually might be really good in regards to future of botting and future of people just trying to go buy up as much stock as they can, because I also have seen quite a few of these reports as well throughout these past few days. So we have a few things to go talk about, a few little things to mention, and as well, I would probably say some pretty good news. As you guys know, kind of the biggest issue we've had throughout the past two years now is always people that are botting very heavily, trying to get as many consoles as they can, resellers, and rebuyers. And I think that's actually something we don't really stress a lot throughout these videos. So I'm going to talk about throughout this one, which is the people that will literally just keep on buying after every single drop over and over and over again, which in theory is kind of like botters and scalpers, but also just kind of think of like the repeat offenders. So a lot of stuff to go talk about, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. You got the Twitter and Twitch room down below and the Twitter giveaway down below too as well. Got that Weeble, got that Coinbase, and let's go and dive on into the video itself. So as I mentioned, we actually did have a Walmart restart that happened not too long ago. When it came to Walmart, it actually went overall pretty good, and I think we may have seen at least a few botters mixed on in the fray, which is kind of expected at this day and age. Although, usually it's more on the worst side, we did have quite a few issues with it, although a lot of normal folks did have a chance to get their console, and as well, we do keep on seeing people getting the on-off Xbox Series X, even as of now, although, as I mentioned in the previous day-to-day -day video, some folks are getting it, some folks aren't getting it, some people just have it instantly out of stock, etc., so you guys want to go and check and see, especially if you guys have Walmart Plus, feel free to online if you guys would like to. It's just It's been kind of weird, so keep that in mind. But the one kind of intriguing thing is when it comes to canceled orders and canceled scalper orders. So as you guys know, scalping is a big issue, but Walmart has been slowly trying to make things better. With their brand new queue system, I feel like that kind of tones down a lot on botters. It still kind of gets through, I'll be honest with you guys. It still happens, or maybe you have like someone running, let's say, like 500 tabs, and they have a chance to get into a few different accounts. They do like 50 accounts each. Like They still have a high chance, and they're still getting in, and still, they're still buying it. But any time by the time type of thing to basically go and diminish all these types of stock, I'm okay with. And it kind of seems like this, it's very intriguing for the PlayStations and Xboxes of what they're planning on doing. So as of now, typically this is what I've been told and told, is that when it comes to Walmart, they usually don't have the same address. That's kind of one of the bigger things. Number one, obviously if you have the same account and you're buying like multiple consoles, that usually would be a red flag for most businesses or have been before. But what people were basically doing as a workaround from what I was told is that as they go and buy their PlayStation, they'll just go and change the shipping address. So think about in the internal systems. If you're like, hey, I'm going to buy 50 dogs. I'm going to go send them to like this address. They're like, okay, that's weird, but whatever. And then if you want to do it again, they're like, what are you doing with all these dogs? But if you're like, hey, I'm going to go and get 40 dogs to this completely separate address, some systems are like separate address, not the same issue, not a big problem, whatever. It's kind of the big thing, too, if you kind of say you order a lot of packages to one building and they just kind of just throw it at the building. But after a while, they kind of realize, hey, there might be individual stores, individual places, individual people there. Think an apartment building or complex. That's why the world's worst analogy, but... Like kind of the rough, I don't know where this is a little bit better. It's kind of like if you are sending a bunch of stuff to the same house, people get suspicious. If you're sending it out to a different house, and then your P.O. box, and then your sister's house, and your brother's house, it kind of makes a little bit more sense because it's technically a different address on the system, and probably like their, their automatic double checks are probably not double checking it because it's just a different thing. It's like if you use a different name for every place, it was the same house, that maybe also worked too as well, although that leads more into issues with, say, your credit card and debit card. So that's why people do just do different addresses because if they're doing different addresses, Technically, Walmart doesn't know, or what if someone moved, or what if you yourself moved? You know how it is. It's just how the internal systems work. That was probably a really bad explanation, but it's kind of like, it's just, it's different, so then the system doesn't catch it because it's different. If you're moving, they kind of assume it's a different person, or it's just not, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, you have a John Smith in one place and John Smith in the other, so I'm sure the system doesn't double check it. A little bit of a ramble, hard to explain, but basically, that's what people were doing. They were basically putting different addresses, or even also possibly putting their neighbor's addresses, too. 
That's actually apparently been a really big thing where they'll have the same name, so say it's John Smith, and they'll just literally go and do their neighbor's house. They'll order a package to like the cross the street house or the next door house, and they'll just basically go make sure they grab that package because they know it's theirs. Like they'll track FedEx, they'll track on the website, uh, Walmart website or whatever. It's like, okay, it's going to deliver today by 10 o'clock, and they see the package, they know how big a PlayStation is or GPU is, and they'll go pick it up from there. So it's kind of like what people have been doing. So like to the point where they can't ship it to their same house, so they're now shipping it to a secondary house, and that's kind of how they're scheming the system. So now the part three of this is why actually Walmart's been making this better. So we have all these schemers when it comes to scalpers and botters and everything. And also we've also been seeing even botters apparently renting out like factories and then kind of have like a multi like service, like a suite one, suite two, suite three, suite four, suite five, but it's all in the same building. So they're able to go do that same exact thing apparently. Like this is gonna, I've been looking at this a little bit more as of last night and there is, it's crazy. Like it's kind of crazy in the extent that people are going through just to go and buy and scalp consoles. So. With all this in mind, we just had a drop. Apparently what's going on now is Walmart is now able to go and get individual console accounts, even if they're sent to different addresses, like we just tried to explain, or overall just in general, and they're now hand canceling the orders from scalpers. So before they would have like an automated system that have like the Walmart and the just normal API itself that pick up botters and scalpers. And like if there's something weird in the sketchy system, they'll go pick up on it and probably cancel it or look at it. But now it kind of seems like if you're trying to go get your console and you're someone who's bought multiple consoles before, even with switching your address and finding these other workarounds, and I'm sure it doesn't happen for everyone. Like I'm sure some scalpers and some botters are still getting through or like they do it for like one or two waves and after that they're done don't get me wrong i'm sure there's still a lot of things that slip on through because we're still seeing botters and scalpers getting consoles and reselling them on the third party but at the end of the day seeing walmart more so hand pick these individual accounts that seem sketchy and maybe if you look in the account and I, I mean if you were to show me like a page i could probably tell you which ones are probably botters and scalpers when there's someone who has seven different consoles on the list 15 different consoles on the list, 100 different consoles. In my mind, I'd probably be like, let me go and cancel and cancel and cancel and cancel. And it's not the hardest work. And then it could put that towards another stock or restock or towards the next upcoming drop in general. Or maybe Sam's Club, you know, their subsidiary, they have an extra 500 consoles. They'll sell them there as bundles and kind of reward their Sam's Club members. But the fact that Walmart now is individually hand selecting accounts and actually taking that little extra step and maybe have an employee allocated towards just giving it out to people and giving it out to normal folks, this is actually a great, great thing. Because there's only so much an automated system can do. Like I said, even when they were kind of going in like double canceling orders, even for original scalpers, they just found the workaround, like I said, and they're just like shipping to their literal neighbors or like shipping to a PO box or shipping to a business address, depending on how wide scale and how much money they're trying to spend into all the scalping and buying efforts. So guess what? Even if it kind of seems like good at the tail end, you do sometimes have to go have a system that's not automated and you have to have a human person go look at it to go and see if it's going to work or not. And I'm happy to go and see that Walmart did make that commitment. It does seem like we'll maybe have even more canceled orders from botters and scalpers. And this is something that makes me pretty happy because this Walmart Plus drop, you number one, do have normal people paying subscriptions. You have a normal mom and pop, spend 14 bucks, just have a chance to get a console. So in theory, I'd want them to be to go get that chance ASAP. I don't want them having a bot getting 5,000 consoles somehow. And even then, I think we could all collectively agree, even if it's like 10 and 15 people or 10 and 15 consoles per person all spread out throughout a bot, I don't want them even getting those consoles because that's a lot. Like This is literally, I've, that's always been my biggest problem. Small time scalpers that are doing like one or two consoles, I never want to give them the free pass, but it's just a way different beast in comparison to a botter that's getting a hundred consoles and you have a hundred of them doing that and then you have thousands of consoles gone. And at that point, the drop is already half over within the first one minute of a drop. So you guys can kind of see the difference between like one person doing it for one console versus someone doing it for a bunch. Now, excuse in the one person, but it's definitely just a different scale of all this stuff. So anyway, a little bit of a ramble on that one, but the fact that Walmart is, like I said, now going through these accounts and seeing, hey, why is there so many different orders and having an individual person starting to go go through them and cancel them, even as of now, like two or three days after the drop itself, I think that's a huge win. I think that's a huge W, and I love seeing Walmart actually respecting their customers because maybe like six months ago, Walmart used to be the worst restocking location. We used to make fun of it. We used to call it Bot Mart, and pretty much the entire time was just always an awful system. But now it seems like Walmart's stepping on up. They're actually getting the customer service they need. They're buying the employees they need, and they're finally getting rid of a lot of these cancel and botted orders, which is nice to go and see. So just letting you guys all know, 
good stuff with Walmart. I gotta give them credit where credit's due. I gotta give them claps where claps are due, and I love seeing the fact that this is happening. Now, once again, though, I'm sure there's some folks out there that are still sneaking through the system. I'm sure some botters are still getting multiple consoles, but at the end of the day, as long as they are trying their best, Walmart, I will give you a thumbs up. So, good job to you. So, I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, and the Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console controller, some of that Twitter and Twitch as well, and that Twitter giveaway, or that Weeble, got that coin base and i appreciate you guys all so much for watching y'all are beautiful y'all are fantastic and i'll see you guys up in the next one later on throughout today love you guys